So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. So I say that whenever I see a longer question, typically greater than four lines long. And all this strategy means is that I definitely do not want to read this entire long question all at once. Instead, I'm going to read one sentence at a time, stop to make sure I understood what I just read, and then definitely write down any quantitative information that's provided, right? That's the translation part. I want to actively read this question. So the question says a laundry service is buying detergent and fabric softener from its supplier. The supplier will deliver no more than 300 pounds in a shipment. Okay, so no more than means less than or equal to 300 pounds. And I'm going to just say um, shipment. Okay. Uh, yes, there we go. So each container of detergent weighs 7.35 pounds. Okay, so detergent equals 7.35 pounds per container. Okay. And each container of fabric softener weighs 6.2 pounds. So 6.2 pounds per container. And this is the softener. All right. The service wants to buy at least twice as many containers of detergent as containers of fabric softener. So basically, we're going to say that um, two times S is equal to D, right? Two times the amount of softener is equal to the amount of detergent ordered. Okay. Next is let D represent the number of containers of detergent. So we did that already. And let S represent the number of containers of fabric softener. So we did that as well. Where D and S are non-negative numbers, which makes complete sense. Which of the following systems of inequalities best represents the situation? So let's see. Um, my, my eyes immediately go towards the answer choices because I do see in the second line here the relationship between D and S, okay? And that seemed to be pretty straightforward. We want two times as much softener, right? So two times S to equal the amount of detergent. So I don't think I want to have a 2D. I want a 2S, right? So that tells me that B is gone and D is gone. And I don't really care about what this first inequality says in those cases because the second inequality is definitely not correct. So both both of those are gone. So we only have A and C left over. So now that my eyes have already used the information from the bottom inequalities, I'm going to focus on the top and look at, well, I have 7.35 associated with D in answer choice A. I have 14.7 associated with D in answer choice C. But I know that it is 7.35 pounds goes along with, the de with detergent, right? It does not associate with softener. So um, 7.35D, which is what I see in answer choice A, makes the most sense. 6.2S, uh, yep, the 6.2 pounds goes along with the softener, and we do want it to be less than or equal to 300 pounds, right? So that for, for all those reasons, basically, and I'll erase this now so we can see, but for all those reasons, A is the best answer there. Now, that was much more of a process of elimination, kind of a logical going through of the answer choices, which is great. I mean, it was the first thing that I thought of. Now, we could definitely use more of a translation process here where, you know, using this information that's been provided, I can put that all together and say, okay, yeah, 7.35 pounds times the detergent number of containers plus my 6.2 pounds times the number of softener containers. I know that I want to have less than or equal to uh, 300 pounds, right? So this is in terms of numbers of pounds. So even just by translating this information here, I still end up in that situation, which would mean, right, it, that C and D are, were gone. If I were to focus there first, C and D would be gone. And then I look to this information next and see that, oh yeah, I want 2S, not 2D, which would make B gone. So there's always plenty of ways to answer these questions. Um, hopefully this made sense. If you have any questions, please do write a comment um, down below.